Good morning, everybody. I'm Antoinette, coming to you from 2OG Silk and Stitch in Island Style on Deer Island in the Bay of Fundy, New Brunswick, Canada. I want to thank all of the returning subscribers, new subscribers, and if you're here for the first time, welcome. If you like what you see here, feel free to hit that little thumbs up button. Um, today's video, it's not going to be a real long one. It is number two of the birthday giveaway. Um, warning, do not put giveaway in any of your comments. Um, it will disqualify you from the comment picker. Um, also, I just have a a couple of uh, a whip and a finished object to show you before we get into the goodie bag. Um, so I'll get that. The first thing I'll show you is my finished object. You know how sometimes you just want to take a break from working on your big projects and you know I have a lot of big projects going on and one by one I'm getting them finished. Um, and I have a basket with like, you know, just scrap yarn in it that I make my baskets out of. But then I have a another basket that has um, what I call it scrap. It's like cakes of yarn that are leftovers from projects. So I looked through my pattern book and I thought, hmm, this is a small project, something that I could whip up quickly. And I found this, and I've had this for a while. And we have a, well, I don't know if we'll have it this year, but we always have a big thing down at the Island Point on... Canada Day. And sometimes I've had a table up there where I sold fireworks when I had the store. Uh, a couple years ago I had a table where I sold a lot of my knitted and crocheted items. So if we do it this year, I'm golf club covers. Free pattern by Molly Bird. Again, it'll always be in the description. So I thought I'd grab some of my scraps and I whipped up a couple golf club covers. And here they are. Like I said, it was just some, just some yarn I had. It was a relatively simple knit pattern with slip stitching. Now the reason the different sizes, this here black was number three and this here was number four. But it's just to go over your, your woods, um, golf clubs, to protect them. A little pom-pom. And like I said, I did, a, I did them in a day. Uh, I did one one day, one the next. I just just sitting around, listening to some videos, taking a break from studying for my exam Saturday, and I thought to go with this. <coughs> excuse me. I am going to crochet this hat pattern. So you have a golf club. Now I don't remember if this was a paid for pattern. I will check. Oh, well, I'll I'll put it in my description box below, and I usually label label the pattern if it's a free pattern or a paid for pattern. But it's by it's by a man. He's called the Crochet Dad. And um, I will put it all in the description box below. And the golf club pattern is by Marley Bird and it's the Yarn Inspirations Red Heart pattern. And it's a, it's a relatively easy introduction to color work. Um, and I really didn't have much problem use doing the color work. It was just using slip stitches. And it gave a nice effect to it. So, that was my finished object. Like I said, I just have some scrap yarn I keep in there. And I throw some. So I might do another couple sets. And something that, you know, bought itself for Father's Day. Now, I was, I have a, another big 31 that I have future projects. I take a yarn and a pattern and I put them in a big Ziploc for future patterns. And I had had this one shawl that had been sitting there. And I don't know, it just it, it, it just struck me as it was so beautiful and the name. And it's by um, Ala Sayenko and it's called Frozen Skies. And that is the shawl. 
Now what she says about this pattern, it's an asymmetrical triangular shawl in elongated and slightly curved shape. It's worked on the bias sideways at the right wing of the shawl with the maximum number of cast on stitches and finishing with a few bound stitches. I cast it on 180 and then you, you, you'll decrease. Um, the overall shape and stepped edge is achieved by working with simultaneous decreases at one side of the knitted fabric and a set of knitted cast on stitches at the other side, gradually reducing the number of stitches to form a triangle. The stripes are various widths and what she says is she, she uses two alternating colors, but as I was reading through the pattern, she had stated it's your chance to experiment with different yarn bases uh, to create unique, um, you know, a unique and also different yarn weights, depending on what kind of you'd like, uh, effect you'd like to achieve. And I thought that was a really nice concept. Because in the pattern, the different sections she gives you are called stratus clouds, snowflake stitch, raindrop stitch. Now these are sections of, of the of the um, shawl, drifting snow, and those are the the different sections. I did cast it on, and I mean I. It's 180 stitches. I did cast it on, and I just I just got started. I got the first. I did. You have a four row setup, and then you get into the stratus cloud section. And I just got the first two rows done. Um, and then you repeat those five times. And what I decided to do, I just ran through some. I just ran through my yarn. I grabbed. I actually started grab some cotton. Uh, some of my Hobie cotton. And the first two colors I'm working with, again, you know Hobie, they don't have colors. The first two colors I'm working with for the um, Stratus Clouds is like a gray and a, a petrol steely blue. Okay, those are the first two colors I'm working with. And then it's going to go into what's called the Snowflakes. And this is what I'm going to use for the snowflakes and I don't know if you can see it's got a metallic thread now this isn't cotton and this is a little bigger of a yarn as you can see this this is a little bigger than the yarn I'm using um, let me see here I have a little piece I cut off because I come up on a knot so I cut off a little section of the yarn and I'll show you the difference in the yarns, but there's, I mean, there's a little bit of difference, but not much, and this is a, a, like an acrylic, so I thought for the snowflakes that this would be absolutely gorgeous with the metallic, and then I had a couple other, because I'm going to use different colors, so the other colors that I have that I want to work with, and I, again, I'll the drifting snow, I might use, and these are the other three colors I have. This is Hobie colors. This is like a, like, like a, a teal or almost like a seafoam, seafoam green, and of course a white. And this here is a, a Premier Bamboo Fair cotton. Oh, so soft. Um, and it is in Cloud. So, and I may use this for a section of the stratus and change it up. But it's just experimenting with the shawl. And again, it's going to be an ongoing project. Just get that in there. But I just cast that on. Yes, I know cast on ice, but I finished a sweater. I finished the baby dress, so I thought I can cast on another project. I got two more blocks done. On the Afghan, I'm down to five. So, um, we're down to five blocks on the Afghan. So we're working right along. My my goal was to be down with the, all of them by the end of May. So I'm on I'm on track for that. So 
want to see what's in the bag? This is the second of the giveaways. The person that wins this one will get this Canadian dollar store bag. Be a great project bag. Or for whatever you want to use it for. I'm going to put this down on the floor here. And let's see what's in the bag. I'll take out this little envelope first. In here, got some stickers, some sunflowers, and you'll get your set of postcards, a couple bookmarks. Oh, and I did find some Deer Island magnets, so I put one in the first box, and you'll get one of those. And you'll get a pack of llama clothespins for your projects or putting up things in your craft room. And you're going to get a llama notebook and a pen. You'll get your pack of, your little bag of teas. Bag of buttons, all different sizes, pinks and whites. And you'll get a set of Mickey and Minnie little pillow pets. You're going to get two cakes of Herschner's Pastry Panache. It's 95% cotton, 5% nylon. It is number three, and the color is called Money. And there are 344 yards, so that's two. Make a nice project, but that's 688 yards. You'll make a nice project, and they're cakes. All the yarn will be cakes. Oops. And because it's my birthday, the person that wins this is going to get something I made. And this was Holly from the Proper Pineapple. It's my birthday shawl. I made this. And this is the It's My Birthday Shawl. So this will be, who wins this will be getting this. It's all done in acrylic. It's been blocked. So this will be in this giveaway. And there are some of the some of the giveaways may have some, have an item in it that I made. I have a tote of things I make, fiber, and I might throw a pair of mitts. I might throw a Colin hat set in. Uh, it might be a shawl. Um, might be a messy bun hat. You never know. Headband. Stuff I make. I might throw that in too. Um, if the person that wins doesn't want it, let me know. And, uh, you know, if you, and I have no, no feelings hurt. Some people just don't like things that other people make. And that's quite alright. Um, most of the stuff is acrylic. So, because of people's allergies to fibers. And again, there'll be some stitch markers. And, you know, like I said, sometimes I throw in some extra stuff. But this is number two. I don't want to mark on the bag, so I am going to put a number two on it, like this. Okay, I'll put everything in my closet there. And this will go by. Now, number two. Don't go anywhere because I have something else to announce. We're going to do a third one. So those responding in today will have a chance to win for two drawings. Um, I suggest you go and you enter each time because all the drawings are going to be done on one day, the morning of the 17th, my birthday.
today, this video here is going to be for the yarn it. Okay. Now, with this, there'll be, I'm going to put a little cake of yarn inside, inside the yarn it. And there will be some tea and some stitch markers, maybe a couple other little goodies, but that will be what's in this. It's not, I mean, this is going to be in a little box, um, but that is, you know, I mean, whatever I can put inside here is what's going to be in the giveaway. But this is for the yarn. yarn it. So this is going to be number three. Okay. But don't forget, on the 16th is when I'm going to announce, I mean, the 16th is when we'll do the video for the Aberdeen Wolves $50 gift certificate. But this today, there's going to be there'll be two giveaways for today, my birthday giveaways. The first one was the bag with the yarn and the goodies and the shawl, and this third one giveaway is for the yarn. It and I I told you I have mine right now. It has um my. Out my kitty cock out my mohair or in it for the sweater that I'm doing. Oh, that yarn is so soft. And what oh, what you can see is underneath this. Oh, I'll show you. And I actually discovered this later on. This bottom comes off. Okay. And underneath. There is a handle that you can, that that goes in to these two holes, and you can carry it around. But I don't do that, so I just leave it in there, and that's your yarn. So that is the giveaways for today. So what do you have to do? What is the word of the day? The rules will be in the description box below, the normal. You have to be a subscriber, like the video. This is not in any way sponsored by YouTube or any of the companies that I have talked about. I have bought all of these with my own money. It is open worldwide. It will end on midnight, April 16th. You must have the word that I'm going to give you in your comment below. I will pay to ship it anywhere. Any customs, fees, taxes, or duties will be the responsibility of the recipient. If your country cannot receive packages from Canada, um, I'm sorry, we'll have to figure something else out. Um, other than that, you can read the rest of the rules in the description box below. Um, that's pretty much it. So the word of today is spring. You have to have the word spring somewhere in your comment. Do not put the word giveaway in your comment. Or it will disqualify you. Something I do want to do, though... Through doing the videos, there is, I found there are some other people, some subscribers, they have April birthdays. And I want to wish, reach out and wish them a happy birthday. One of them is this Saturday. Tammy from Flower Crochet Creations, she has a YouTube channel, is, has a birthday. So, Tammy, happy birthday. Her birthday is this Saturday. I want to wish her a happy birthday. Holly, of course, in the proper pineapple. She's doing her birthday celebration. We wish her a happy birthday. Barbara Leanhard. We all know Barbara. She watches our channel. She comments regularly. She's always sending us cards and postcards. She's the one that lives on the boat. She just had knee surgery, and she's coming along well. Her birthday's the 22nd. So, Barbara, happy early birthday. And anybody else that has a birthday in April... Happy birthday to you. It's a great month. Our birthstone is diamond. And of course, diamonds are our girl's best friend next to yarn. 
So that's all I have for today. I'm getting ready to do a video on Crystal has the 10 yarn questions, tag your it. So I am going to do the video for that and I will be tagging some people. I will be getting to that. I am taking a short break from studying. Saturday is a big exam for firefighter block three. And it's also still tax season, still doing taxes for people. So everybody remember to have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Spring is here. Uh, we had snow a couple days ago, but it's already gone. Hug smiles and happiness. Pass it on. Make the world a better place. And until next time, here's saying bye from Deer Island. Bye-bye.